Our next presenter, Rishali Salian from the Pharmaceutics Graduate Program, College of Pharmacy. Who one is critically depends on what one remembers. If a person's memory begins to fade away, so does their identity. I want to share with you the story of Martha Gonzalez. She was a world-renowned ballerina who lost her identity to Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is the most common form of memory loss and has a capability of converting a colored life to black and white. But people say you can lose everything, but you cannot lose your talent. I saw this video where they gave Martha headphones to listen to a Swan of Lakes recital that she had performed to in her younger days. And in that video, I saw her being transformed into this beautiful ballerina she once was, just sitting in that wheelchair, listening to that melody. And that made me realize, not all was lost in the end, there is hope. But now why do we not have any cure for Alzheimer's? Billions of dollars are being spent on research trying to focus on the two core pathologies of the disease, amyloid beta pathology and tau pathology. These are the two toxic proteins that accumulate in Alzheimer's brain and is a major cause of memory loss. The reason lies in the fact that the onset of symptoms in Alzheimer's takes place at a much later stage to a point where the amyloid and tau proteins have already taken over the brain. And now inflammation in the brain tissue as well as the brain blood vessels is emerging as a third core feature of Alzheimer's. 95% of Alzheimer's patients have inflammation in the brain. And this is known to increase the accumulation of amyloid and tau proteins in the brain. And that's why my research is trying to focus on identifying a vascular inflammation biomarker that can be detected early on in Alzheimer's disease. Vascular cell adhesion molecule one, also known as WCAM1, is one such biomarker identified by us. And my research shows that WCAM1 is upregulated in an Alzheimer's disease. So the idea is, if we use WCAM1 as a biomarker for inflammation, we can identify a subset of patients that have inflammation in Alzheimer's. Following that, drug repurposing strategies can be used to identify drugs for Alzheimer's. For example, cardiovascular drugs that are known to alter inflammation in the brain can be repurposed in Alzheimer's in patients that were identified through WCAM1. In the end, there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's just that some tunnels tend to be a little longer than the others. For patients like Martha and families of AD patients, I just have one word to say to them, hope, which stands for hang on pain ends. Thank you. Thank you.